tight ends. It's a hell of a group. So you got George Kittle, who's like the platonic ideal of a tight end. Not the greatest route runner, but the best after the catch, one of the best blockers, um, the highest paid tight end of all time. He's the platonic ideal. So you got him. That's a good start. Um, then you got Jordan Reed, who's an interesting addition to this team. They may use him more as a slot receiver, but he's an excellent, he's an excellent route runner. Really good hands. I don't think he's going to take a lot of playing time away from Kittle because the whole thing with Jordan Reed is he has seven concussions and you want to use him sparingly. Maybe Washington overused him. But in particular, like for example, Seattle has a tight end, Greg Olson, who's like 36. They don't want to use him too much. Maybe 15, 20 plays a game. Forget blocking. Just be a slot receiver, a big one who gets open because he can still do that. And you can make an impact playing 15, 20 snaps a game as a receiver on third down in the red zone. You can still catch a lot of first downs and touchdowns. That's how Greg Olson's going to be used in Seattle. That's how Jordan Reed's going to be used on the 49ers. Not doing too much dirty work in the trenches, trenches because he's just one ding away from being done his career. But use him in the slot on third down. He's a better option than anyone. I mean, other than George Kittle. He's a better option, better route runner, a more shorthanded receiver than Debo Samuel. Debo Samuel does a lot of great things and is a hell of a player but he dropped like 11 passes last year, dead nine passes. Jordan Reed is a huge addition to this team. He could, he could end up if he stays healthy with 50 catches, 40 catches, which would put him second or third on the team up there with Debo. So Jordan Reed's a big deal. I think of him more as, as like the seventh wide receiver though, but he technically is a tight end. Then you got Ross Dwelly who has started games at tight end, has started games at fullback, has been on this team a few years has great hands. I mean, he's got Jordan Reed type hands, uh, an excellent route runner, not quite on the Jordan Reed spectrum, but really good. And he's tall. He's six foot five. He, to me, is someone they could use specifically in the red zone. I mean, they love using him on like fourth and four, fourth and five. He's money. Uh, he, I also think he's money in the red zone, just like Kendrick Bourne and Jeff Wilson Jr. The Niners have these undrafted guys who are these touchdown specialists. I mean, Ross Dwelly, if they wanted to, I think could score, could catch seven, eight touchdown passes in a season, just like Kendrick Bourne. I hit, so, so you got that's your number three tight end. And then your number four tight end is a rookie who looks like the Incredible Hulk. He makes George Kittle look like George Kittle looked in, in college. This Charlie Warner dude is the biggest tight end I've seen in a long time. He's really, really strong. He looks like he's going to be a hell of a blocker. And what's interesting is Shanahan compares him to George Kittle. He's like, when, when he's talking about it recently, he's like, well, I mean, he's Kittle in the sense that Kittle was a late round pick who didn't have any, who was not a polished receiver coming out of college. Warner had caught like a, like a few dozen passes in college. Same with Kittle. But what Shanahan saw is here are two people who are passionate about run blocking. That's rare. You don't find college players very often who come into the NFL who just their main passion is blocking. And then on top of that, they have a, like a locomotive aspect to them where maybe they're not great at getting themselves open though Kittle is, but if Shanahan can scheme people open, you know, he has that, that classic play in his offense where it's a play action bootleg that the quarterback comes back and the, and the tight end goes behind the offensive line. That's a good way to get someone open. He catches the ball in the flat, turns up field. There's no one there because everyone's following the running back. Well, it's like, okay, that's how they used Kittle at first. And all you do is get a 250-pound man who gets a little momentum in the open field. No one wants to tackle him, who's violent. And that could be Werner too. So they have the prototype, the platonic ideal, the, the, the route running specialist, the do-everything backup with starter experience, and the incredible Hulk who has kill traits. So this group has the potential to be the best tight end group in the league. It's not the best tight end group just yet. I think it's, I think the one in Tampa has something to say about that. Rob, Rob Gronkowski, OJ Howard, Cameron Brait. but the Niners got Charlie Warner fourth guy. And if he can, if he can show something and become a, a, uh, a valued member of the offense, they really could do four tight end uh, formations. It could work. It could actually work. 